So you came back for a little bit more of that canine bitch leg. We're right on. Jefferson and I kept going down that little corridor to the top of the stairs where he was posted where the hallway led off. We was talking on the way down. Of course, he kept reminding me, you know, that Destiny doesn't date jobbies. And I was like, yeah, I think I've heard that once or twice before, man, but I appreciate the info. We get to the top of the stairs where he's standing post, you know, and I'm getting ready to head down the hallway. And he goes, well, hey, K-9, let me tell you something real quick, though, bud, so you don't feel too bad. And I was like, I'm listening. He said, I think just about everybody here has tried, man, so don't feel bad. I looked back at him real quick. I said, yeah, but ain't everybody K-9. Turned around, kept on strolling that down the hallway to the room where everybody was playing cards. Walked up in the room, and they just started busting out laughing. Edge over there talking about, it's the Minute Man, he's back. I was like, yeah, the Minute Man, that's funny stuff, right on. I said, hey, you guys know something about having some pay phones here? And they're all like, well, yeah, they're downstairs on the first floor. Didn't you notice them? I was like, no, nah, I didn't notice them. Because the first time I came through there, I was looking for a way out to get some alcohol. And the second time I came through there, I had gas my chewing my ass out about being outside, remember? And they're like, yeah, okay, so what the hell do you care about some phones, man? Who are you going to call, K-9, Ghostbusters? I was like, yeah, that's funny, man, right on, right on. Yeah, they're laughing. And it's like, seriously, man, what's up, man? What are you doing back so quick? What happened, man? I said, well, let me tell you what happened, man. Everything was going according to plan. Edge kicks in again. You had a plan? I was like, hey, man, you going to let me tell this story? He goes, he shuts his mouth, you know, and does his hand across his lips like he's buttoning his lips up and sits there, you know. I said, all right, let me finish. I said, so anyways, walked up in one of the rooms down another corridor down there, you know, sitting there on the bed, you know, she took a drink off a little bit of that vodka I had, you know, and she starts in on this dude named Jimmy, how she had talked to him and he had made her upset because of this long distance relationship they got going on. I see that while she's rambling on, I'm thinking that she had been talking to this guy before we were evacuated. I didn't know that we had any phones downstairs, you know. So when she got done rambling on about this old boy, she took another drink and looked at me and said, so tell me about yourself, K-9. Tell me your story. And I said, well, you know, ain't much to it. You know, I'm like a book, just turning pages. Just like I want to turn a page right now. So I got in close to her, you know, fellas. And I said, it wouldn't ruin your whole night if I asked to kiss you, would it? And so I went in and started to kiss her. And right then, Jefferson rapped on the door and said, hey, Destiny, you got some phone call from some guy named Jimmy. Man, she jumped up like her pants were on fire and ran out of that uh, room down the hallway and she was gone. They all busted out laughing. They're like, yeah, her pants are on fire, all right, for some dude named Jimmy, not some dude named Canine. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's funny, man. I'm glad I'm tonight's entertainment for everybody. I'm glad we don't need the TV or radio or anything. You guys are funny up in this bad boy. I'm loving it. They're like, yeah, right on. Genghis raised his hand and says, all right, silence. He says, now, give it to me one more time. So you kiss Destiny. I said, that's right, man. You know, I asked her if it was all right. Went in, gave her a kiss. He said, okay. So you kissed her like you was kissing your girlfriend, or you kissed her like you was kissing your mom? And everybody's looking at me, and I sat there for a second, and I said, well, no, no. I was kissing her like, you know, like I'd be kissing, you know, like I'd be kissing your mom. The whole room went silent. Now, I don't think Genghis could wrap his mind around what I had just said, because what I had just said is that I was kissing his mom. But... Every, everybody else in the room knew what was happening, but he just had this blank look on his face. So apparently Edge couldn't stand it any longer. And he said, Canine just said that he was kissing your mom. And Genghis's face went red. He jumped up. He goes, you little son of a bitch, Canine. I'm going to grab a hold of you. I fell out of the back of the chair right through the doorway, right into the hallway. Started running down that hallway as fast as I could. Let me tell you, I was humping and pumping. I could hear him breathing. I was like, oh, shit, he's coming, he's coming. He reached out, that big bear claw touched my shoulder. I was like, oh, man, he's got me. Turn the page.